We thank you so much for visiting our channel. Today we're going to redesign this incredibly beautiful armoire. We're first going to start out with some light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper to help smooth out any imperfections. Now we're going to move on to adding salvation solution to help minimize any potential bleed through. Now to add some salt wash to give some character and some texture. Let's show you how this is combined. When combining salt wash with paint, you add one part salt wash to one part paint. Then you mix it thoroughly. The salt wash does not impact the color. It keeps the color's integrity and that way you have the full value of the paint, especially when using DIY, which is heavy pigmented. I'll show you how that looks once it's mixed. This will look like the consistency of cake batter once we're done. We're only adding salt wash to key spots where natural wear and tear may occur. So what we will do is once this is completed and going through this process, we'll cover over this with the final coat of paint and then pull back these dark areas to give it a lot of character. Once the salt wash has dried for about 15 to 20 minutes, take the same brush and brush over the stiff peaks that are left. Now to spray the armoire in DIY White Swan using the HBLP pneumatic sprayer from Harbor Freight. I added the hardware to the armoire so that way when I'm spraying the paint it will go ahead and cover and then I can pull that back using a wet distress technique since DIY White Swan is water soluble and has the ability to simply wet distress by rubbing on with a damp cloth. Here's a close-up look following wet distress technique. Now to the stenciling phase where I'm using the JRV Wildflower Stencil. Jamie Ray Vintage makes an amazing stencil that is thick and allows for a crisp image I love this stencil so much because you have so much versatility and applying it in various ways. A tip for first time stenciling, your brush needs to be basically dry and as you can see I'm using this method and it gives it a crisper image because the brush is just adding layers and not wet. Love how this looks. Now moving on to sanding. I'm sanding after the stenciling because I want the overall organic aged appearance on this piece. 
And by sanding just the key areas where the salt wash was applied, I'm pulling back through that undercoat that we added with the salt wash. This really gives it some great character. Once sanding is completed, we will use DIY clear wax to seal the piece, and this will also enhance this character that we just brought through. Now let's look back to the original piece. Still beautiful as it was, we wanted to redesign it to make it look exceptionally beautiful for someone's home. We are so happy at how this turned out. And now here's the final reveal. Thanks for watching. Please find us on Facebook and Instagram and stay tuned for more video uploads to come.